Your wardrobe is not a paint by numbers thing. Your taste, your shape, your personality, those are unique. Hi, I'm Erin from What Would the Neighbors Think, the place where women learn how to build wardrobes that make them shine. And I am so glad you're here. Before you jump on the capsule wardrobe bandwagon, you need to watch this. I don't want you whittling your wardrobe down to all the wrong things just because you followed the latest Pinterest template. I'm going to tell you what a capsule wardrobe is, why you may or may not need it, and if you do, how to create one that represents the real you. Don't worry, if you've ever been on vacation, you've already made one. A capsule wardrobe was originally created in the 70s. It was a group of classic pieces that you could use to expand your wardrobe. Donna Karen ran with this idea in the 80s when she released Seven Easy Pieces an interchangeable group of workwear clothes, almost all black, very sleek. There was a bodysuit, a tailored jacket, a cashmere sweater, a dress, something leather, a white shirt, and a skirt. Do you remember the bodysuit? Not the most comfortable thing in the world, but they've gotten a lot better now. Any which way you mix them together, they made beautiful outfits that would take you from the office to date night. And that's basically what a capsule wardrobe is, a small collection of clothes that work together to create many outfits. As I said, if you've ever been on vacation, you've already made one. You had to pack a selection of items that were going to be appropriate for the activities you were planning on doing. You only had so much room in your suitcase, so you had to put together things that would mix and match to create more than one outfit. So, how do you apply what you need for a week's vacation to what you're going to need for your wardrobe for years and years to come? Well, you've got to do that carefully. The capsule wardrobe concept has gotten out of hand on places like Pinterest. And it's a trend, and like all trends, as I said before, you need to tread lightly. You don't want to end up running around in the same chambray shirt and I don't know, striped t-shirt and denim jacket as everybody else. Now, that's a really good look. That's a great look, but it's not everybody's look. What if you're someone who likes big fluffy ruffles or girly boho prints, or maybe you radiate in big, bold, bright colors? Well, a classic wardrobe is going to stifle a personality like yours. Um, that's what we're seeing a lot of on Pinterest right now, are templates of capsule wardrobes that are basically made up of basics. So, uh, I don't know, khaki pants, uh, striped t-shirts, chambray shirts, denim jackets. It's, it's a great look for someone who is classic, but for somebody who's not, it, that's not you. We need to find something for you that expresses who you are and what you like. So why would anybody want a capsule wardrobe? Well, it's great for building mini wardrobes. For instance, if you're going on vacation or travel-related work, uh, you might want a capsule wardrobe for just one season. It's great for short bursts of time. But I'm guessing that you were interested in the capsule wardrobe because you thought you could apply it to your entire wardrobe. Uh, the simplicity of it is definitely attractive and it would be great to be able to, to pare things down that easily. I don't blame you. It will potentially save you time, money, space in your closet. Uh, it's eco-conscious. And if done correctly, the capsule wardrobe concept is a great tool for somebody who's just starting uh, to build a wardrobe or for someone who's editing their closet down from all that they have down to just what they wear. It challenges you to make more out of what you already have and it clarifies what you're missing so that you can create more outfits. So here's how to do it. A limited wardrobe takes a lot of planning. You want it to be big enough so that you don't get bored with fewer choices and so you're not constantly doing laundry, especially if you've made one shirt part of every outfit. Uh, if that's the case, buy more than one of those shirts. I've got lots of clients who do that. You'll need about 30 pieces in your wardrobe, not including accessories. And if you need more clothes for work, then you're going to need additional pieces. Each item has to be versatile, flattering to your shape, and be something you feel great wearing. 
That's another thing to watch for in those Pinterest templates. You might be following something that doesn't suit your shape, so use them just as inspiration. If you like a striped shirt that's in the, the template, then choose one that has a neckline that flatters your shape. Uh, I'll be posting more videos to help you figure that out. First, consider your lifestyle. Where do you go? What do you do? Really, what do you do and where do you go? You would not be surprised, believe me, how many of us have bought fabulous things for fabulous events that we've never worn and we've never gone to. Um, if, if that's the case and you have things like that, either wear them or get rid of them. You don't want anything in your closet that makes you feel guilty. What's the weather like where you live? If you have four seasons, you're going to want to have one main wardrobe that gets supplemented with sweaters or swimsuits, depending on what time of year it is. Next, consider your style and shape. Now, I'll have other videos that will help you to determine what those are if you don't already know, and when I do, I'll link them below. In the meantime, I'm going to give you a couple of posts that I wrote that should help answer some of those questions. The idea is to go with what you love and what looks good on you and go from there. You can even start with that one piece that you really love and build your first outfit. You'll need all the staples, tops and bottoms, but they need to be interchangeable with at least three other things. Depending on what you like, what you need, and what looks good on you, your tops could range from anything like turtlenecks to t-shirts, or your bottoms could be only skirts or just jeans. The trick is that they all need to be interchangeable with one another. Use the capsule wardrobe Pinterest templates that you find as a guide. You have artistic license. I am giving you permission to substitute a bright orange overcoat for the classic trench. It's all up to you. You just need to make sure that you have other things you've chosen that that would match. Uh, here's some examples of what you might come up with. Now, I've given you the link below to these templates. They're part of a post related to this video, and they even have the shopping links to all the clothing in case you see something you'd like to include in your wardrobe. We're going to start with the classic capsule wardrobe, since that's what you're going to see most on Pinterest. There are 24 basic pieces in neutral colors that work together to create multiple outfits. This is a fairly casual wardrobe with jeans and jean-cut pants and a couple of skirts. There are three dresses, two of which can be dressed up or down, depending on the accessories you put with them. The knitwear includes both heavyweight and lightweight turtlenecks, as well as a couple of cardigans and a pullover, and the outerwear includes both denim and leather jackets, as well as a trench coat. Now, if your climate is warmer, your knitwear and your outerwear would probably be a bit different. I've chosen a structured white shirt because it can be dressed up or down. You can see the difference between its cut and the cut of the blue chambray shirt next to it. The t-shirts are basic rounded v-necks, but if a higher crew neck is better for your shape, you would choose that instead. Here are some examples of how you can combine these 24 pieces to make a variety of outfits. As you look at them, imagine how simply adding boots or sneakers could give each outfit a different look. Which looks would you wear out to lunch with friends? And which ones would be comfy enough to run to the grocery store and still feel like you look good? Here's some more combinations from just those 24 items. I've shown you 36 outfits, more than you'd need in a month, but there's still a lot of combinations you could make, and if you added a shirt or two to the mix, you'd have even more outfits. Now here's another example of a capsule wardrobe template. I wanted to show you that it is possible to do this with bold colors. See, there's the orange overcoat. You don't need to limit yourself to a safe, neutral palette or classic cuts. You just have to make sure you combine all your clothing to make several outfits. Although they're brighter, I've kept it pretty simple with mostly solid colors and just a few patterns. This makes it easier to mix and match. If you'd like more pattern like geometric or floral prints, you'll just need to keep its overall color in mind to make sure it matches enough other items in your capsule. Again, we've got all the basics, tops and bottoms, but this time with more color. We've kept a few of the basics like the jeans and white tee because those are the building blocks of most casual wardrobes. But the pleated skirt, pink joggers, and orange overcoat are curveballs you can throw in to mix up the overall look. 
As you can see, these 24 pieces also come together to create many different outfits, both dressy and casual. I wish you could see those navy pants better. They have this wonderful little white ticking pinstripe. It adds just the right amount of interest while still being neutral enough to match with everything else. So again, you have more than a month's worth of outfits from just 24 items. Imagine if you also had a few of the other pieces from the classic capsule wardrobe. You'd have even more outfits. As I said, the link to the post that has these templates is below. Just click Show More under the title of this video, or the down arrow if you're on a phone or a tablet. And you can always find it on my website, www.tnt.com, under Shop Like a Stylist. I've got a lot more coming, so be sure to subscribe. And you can sign up for your free mini course below. You'll get immediate access. It'll teach you the five things you need to know to confidently build a wardrobe you'll love. Thank you so much. See you next time. So, how do you apply what... <laughs> then go ahead and sign up for your free bitty bitty bitty. <laughs> I know, I know. Ah, ah. <laughs> Bring on the noise. It was created back in the 70s. Hair. Hello. Mm. Last time. <laughs> Neckline flatters your shape. Oh, that does it. <laughs> oh, <crap. laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm almost done. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Make sure that it... You'll need all the staples, tops and bottoms. You think? <laughs> but they need to be interchangeable. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. No, I won't. No, no, I'm not talking to you soon. <laughs> I think I already got it. I'm, I'm going to just say I got it. Can I just gonna say I got it? Maybe one more. Uh, wow, all right.